everyone! Welcome to Chelo's Latina Mom Blog. Um, my name is Chell, and I want to hit topics of the Latino culture that women have to go through um, every day. Being a mother, being a wife, um, self-care, um, being there for others, uh, taking time for yourself, not taking time for yourself, the stress um, it may bring. And so my blog is all about that. Cooking, um, recipes, um, desserts. I'm a baker. I love to bake. Um, I love to cook too, but I like baking more. Um, and just being, you know, the mom that handles it all and kind of takes it all in. Um, I know for a fact that in the Latino culture, the woman is, or the wife um, and mom takes care of everything, um, whether she works or she doesn't work. Um, and that's just the way it's always been. And then you cater to your husband, um, but you're the go-to for everything. You do it all. Um, I know moms, they do it all anyway, but in the Latino culture specifically, um, they do it all. I mean, like catering to your husband, making him dinner, um, making him lunch, getting his stuff ready for work. I mean, it goes that far. Um, now, granted, times have changed and, you know, not everybody does it the same way anymore because that's more old school. But there are still a lot of people, a lot of women out there who um, do the old school way. And in my opinion, I mean, I guess it's all how you're raised um, in your household because in my household, my mom did it all. She still does. But that's how she was raised. And um, she was a stay-at-home mom until we went to middle school. And then, um, and she made sure of that. She wanted to be a stay-at-home mom until we were able to go to middle school because she wanted to be there um, to take care of us. But my dad was um, the provider and that's how it works usually. Um, sorry, my baby just woke up. Um, and so, you know, a lot of what the Latino community does is that's how they run things. That's how they run their household. Um, you know, it's changed now because times have changed, but, um, for example, you know, I'm a full-time mom and, I got to come home and um, I have a th almost four-year-old and I have a almost two-month-old. Um, so I'm on maternity leave right now. But um, what's expected of me is, you know, come home from work, start dinner, help uh, my toddler with his preschool if he has anything. Um, we try to usually go over something every night, um, get ready for the next day. Um, and then do it all over again. But I make dinner, um, try to pack lunches for my husband and myself, um, and snacks for, for my toddler, um, pack the baby's bag. Um, and, you know, get ready for us to do it all over again the next day. So that may not, that might not be how it works in other households, but, um, that's how it works in mine. And there are some women who um, literally do it all. Like, they're probably stay-at-home moms, so they um, cook and clean all day and um, make lunches for their spouses and get ready for the next day. And it's just, you know, what's expected. Um, I guess, I don't know, I guess I, I would like to know if anybody else does, I mean, yeah, I know probably everybody else does it different, but is it like frowned upon to do it all? Should your spouse help at all? Um, absolutely. I feel like 
you know, you carried the babies, you gave birth, but you're not alone. You had somebody help you and they should always help you. Now, it can change because, you know, if you're no longer with that person or um, whatever the situation may be, there's there's different things that could be going on. But um, I'd like to know, you know, your guys' opinions on that and um, what you guys do or don't do and how it works in your household. Um, I think it would be interesting to get ideas and find out how everybody else does it. Let me know. Thanks for tuning in.